Hi, this is Mark from Tripsolo. Today I have a game called Streets. It's a game published by Sinister Fish Games and thanks for sending it for review. Um, Streets is a tile placement game for one to five players where all, where all players will try to build city. You will add buildings to the city, connect them with streets and of course uh, score as many points as you can or earn money because money in this game are uh, victory points. Mm. This game includes a solo mode as well. And now I will show you how to play this game and then I will tell you what I think about it. This is the game of streets uh, during play. This is not the beginning. I have added a few tiles to the city so you can see how the game plays and how the game looks like uh, during the play. Um, here you have the area where you will put different tiles with different buildings. They look like this and you will create uh, the city and score points. Mm. Here are some uh, really cool uh, screen printed uh, meeples and people that will that you will attract to different buildings that you built inside the city. They have four uh, colors. And here are the ownership uh, tokens that you will use to mark the buildings that you own and that you added uh, to the uh, city. Each player gets uh, free uh, tiles with buildings and in your turn you will be able to add one of the buildings in your hand to the uh, to a location somewhere in the city. Now, when you look at uh, one building here you have the name uh, here you have a business uh, icon this is used in uh, one of the uh, additional expansions that are included in the game. Uh, here you have some artwork here is the valuation of the buildings. It tells you how many points, uh, money, it will, because money is points in this game, victor points, how much money it will give you when you will um, score this building. So this building will give you five bucks for each pair of these uh, symbols. Here you have a symbol on the building. Sometimes you have one symbol, sometimes two. Uh, the symbols are different depending on the buildings. And the symbols are used to um, give you money uh, when you score a specific uh, building. Uh, when you add a building to the city, uh, you have to place your uh, ownership token. So it will tell you and other players that you are the owner of the building. And you have to add a person of this color uh, to uh, the building. When you score the building, you will get points uh, written here. So five uh, dollars for each uh, part of these symbols on this street. But you will also get one additional uh, dollar for each person on your building. So the more people you have on your buildings, uh, the more money you will uh, score. And this is how the game plays. Uh, in every player's turn, each player will add uh, buildings to the city. When the uh, big stack of tiles is empty, players will continue until they are out of tiles in their uh, hands and then the player with most uh, money wins. And how you score uh, points in this game? I told you that each building has got a valuation um, condition uh, in the right corner, uh, top right corner, and tells you how much money you get. But in this game you, doesn't, uh, you, you, don't, you don't get money when you place a building in the city but you get money only when you close a specific street. Because the buildings that you can see, they have uh, the road at the bottom. And when you add buildings to the city, uh, they need to be, new buildings need to be connected with road to other buildings already in the city. So if let's say this building is already in the city, this new building can be added like this or added like this because you will have a L shape here. But you cannot add this building like this because it will be not connected to other buildings in the city. And each street, street uh, is a, um, you can say, area with uh, connected buildings like this. Like here you have street uh, that contains two buildings or three buildings. Each street can have maximum five buildings. So here, for example, we have one, two, three, four. I could add another building to the city, for example, here. Uh, but if you have five buildings uh, on one street, you cannot add more, uh, more buildings. 
So what can you do? Because you don't get money when you just add the building, you have to close the street. And closing the street means adding additional buildings, additional building and rotated, for example, like this. When you add a building like this, it means that this street is closed. It's closed with this tile here and it is closed with this tile here because it is rotated. So it shows that this one tile enclosed the street. And now when a street is enclosed, each player will get money for the buildings uh, the player own on the specific street. So the, the blue player will get points from this building and this building and the purple player will get points from this building. So you take each building, you evaluate the uh, points, you have to see how each building scores. For example, this building will give you five bucks for the pink and yellow uh, symbol on the street. You calculate all the symbols written on the buildings, but also, for example, if you close the street like this, you have this uh, symbol and it's got an arrow. And this arrow, for example, right now is pointing in the direction of this street. So you will uh, look at the symbols on the buildings, but also on the buildings that enclose the street. And if there are any symbols pointing to the direction of this uh, street you are scoring, you add the symbol as well. So each player gets money. You have this cool, uh, this is the, uh, I forgot to tell you, this is the deluxe edition of this game. So you have uh, some beautiful wooden uh, money tokens. Mm, the meeples are uh, screen printed. Uh, all the tokens here are made from wood, not cardboard. So this is the deluxe edition. If you have the regular edition, uh, some elements may uh, be different here. And after you score a street, re you remove all the ownership uh, tokens. Each player, uh, they are returned to each player uh, play area and the tokens are limited. Each player gets five of them. So when they are gone, uh, you have to remove one from the building in the city to build another building. So your goal should be to enclose the street to score points and to get these tokens uh, back. And after you score each building in the street, uh, you have to move the people that were in the buildings to other buildings in the city that are available and that are not uh, already scored. So for example, this uh, pink person will move to this building because this building is available. And this yellow person it doesn't have a place to go because there is no other yellow building available. So this person will, uh, you will stand, uh, the person will stand here and wait until the right building appears in the city in future turns. Uh, so this is how you score. Then another player will add another building and then you and another player and you. This game plays from one to five players. When the tiles are gone, each player will have to place uh, remaining tiles. Uh, will have to add the remaining uh, tiles to the city, and then you will score uh, every building that is, was left in the city that was not uh, already scored. Uh, will score at the end of the game, but you will gain only half money from the building. So it's better to enclose street and to score uh, points during the game because at the end of the game you will only score half of the points from each building that is left somewhere in the city and wasn't scored uh, before. So this is how you play it. And of course, the person with most uh, money wins the game. In this game, you have also two additional uh, expansions. One, it's called uh, business and you have these business tokens and each building has got uh, an icon in the left top corner. And when you enclose a street, and when you score each building in the street, you have to look at your buildings, the building that you own, and at the icons of the buildings, and you can choose one of the tokens that shows one of the icons on each of your buildings in the street. So if you have three buildings on one street, you can choose one token uh, from the symbols written on all your buildings. And at the end of the game, uh, the person who's got uh, most um, tokens with the uh, specific symbol uh, get gets additional points. So you have to see who's got more tokens 
uh, of each symbol also when you score a set so we have sets of uh, each of the symbols there are uh, four of them you will gain additional points so this adds some you can say set collection uh, mechanic to this game but this is an ad additional expansion you don't have to use it uh, second additional expansion are the uh, how they are called uh, they are called uh, consultant cards and each player uh, gets one consultant at the start of the game and they give additional power to each player so this game becomes more uh, asymmetrical because for example location scout when scoring your building you can include symbols on buildings you own in other streets so you can see um, consider uh, the symbols on other buildings you own not only on the streets for example here is investor when claiming any building you may place two ownership signs on it this doubles its valuation so each player will gain additional power uh, unique uh, depending on the person you have uh, you, you got at the start of the game so this is another expansion and another way to add new stuff to this game but the basic game is quite simple you have three tiles you have to add one tile to the city then you take a new tile and this is the end of your turn when a street is enclosed you score points for each building you own on the enclosed street so this is how you play uh, streets if you want to play a solo uh, you have the grifter this is a, a, you can say ai opponent and the grifter will do basically the same uh, your turn is exactly the same as in multiplayer game and during the grifter turn you will take one tile from the stack and you will add it to the city uh, to a place where it gives grifter uh, highest valuation so when you place uh, the tile for the ai you just look at the valuation at the top right corner and you want and you want to add um, this tile to a spot where it gives uh, the ai most points from the building's valuation the difference is that the grifter uh, your opponent doesn't have only five uh, ownership uh, signs they have all of them uh, you take uh, the five of your color and the remaining uh, mm, tokens are used by the grifter so the ai can own more building than just five during the game but the grifter also scores normally when a street is enclosed the grifter uh, scores uh, points and whoever has got more points at the end of the game of course wins the game so this is how you play streets multiplayer and solo as you have seen in the video streets is a quite simple game you have three tiles in your hand and you have to choose one tile and add it to the city you just have to follow the placement rules but basically you have to connect it with uh, the new tile must be connected with a street with other tiles that are in the city and that's basically it so it's very very simple take one tile add one tile and that's it uh, but the fun thing is that you score only when you close the street and this uh, allows you to make some cool combos because adding more houses to the street that you want to enclose and to score in future turn allows you to um, get more points from every building because some buildings they require specific symbols so when you add so so when you add uh, buildings with the symbol in future turns you will score more points so the rules are simple but there is a lot a lot of strategy and thinking uh, when you score a building and when the street is closed all the people from the building move to another building and now you have to think if the people will move to your opponent building because this may be only building in the city in a um, specific color or maybe they will move to your building if you have a available building in this color uh, on some other street really really cool idea uh, different buildings they have different scoring options and it also adds to replayability in this game because uh, if all buildings will score the same it will be quite boring now you have a lot of options to score sometimes they need other buildings that sur surround them sometimes a building only scores when it is uh, the closing building that closes the street a lot of a lot of cool, cool ideas uh, the production quality is uh, fantastic this is the deluxe edition um, kickstarter deluxe edition I have some Kickstarter promos inside, but the Deluxe Edition uh, 
add some wooden tokens, uh, wooden uh, money. The, the, the money tokens are really cool and maybe I will use them in the other games because you have, you know, this uh, uh, wooden, um, not coins, but, you know, it looks like um, money uh, sheet of paper, really cool, in the back. But you have the screen printed meeples, uh, you have the uh, all the other tokens are made from wood, so it looks really, really cool. The, the artwork is great. Uh, this is the second game in the series because there were villagers before, I didn't play them. And there is Moon, this is the third game. I only played Street so far. It's really, really interesting and I like games like this. Uh, the box is quite small, the rules are simple, but there is a lot of thinking and strategy and planning during the game. So you don't have to focus on the complicated rules, but you can focus on uh, making the you know combos and scoring as many po points as you can. Um, I like that you have two expansions inside. Uh, one expansion called Business allows you to score additional points for uh, collecting sets of uh, special uh, you know tokens with uh, some icons on them. Uh, the second expansion allows you to get uh, like mm, asymmetric powers because you have this consultant and each consultant gives you a special power that only you can use so the game becomes more asymmetric where each player can do something different great small game with easy rules and a lot of thinking uh, i really like it uh, the solo mode is cool because you have an opponent you don't have to play only for points and you know to beat your own score but you have an opponent that you can uh, lose with or win with, uh, the opponent has got a few difficulty levels and additionally you can use all the, uh, the included expansions with the solo mode so it's also cool because sometimes you have games but they have some micro expansions but they can not be used in solo mode here you can use everything in the solo mode as well really really fun game um, I will leave links in the description of the video to a Sinister Fish Games website uh, you will also find links to my Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. Visit me if you want. Uh, click the like button if you like this video and subscribe to my channel as well. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.